Colin is striking his manly man pose. <laughs> the... And Mason's trying to <laughs> strike a manly man pose. <laughs> They're dogs. <laughs> All right, we're at the Timberline Trailhead. This time we've got Colin who's doing the log there. And his first ever backpacking trip, Mason. So that should be fun. We're going to head up to Timberline Lake, do a little overnighter. The first part of this trail was burned out in a fire in 2008, I think, maybe. I don't know, I'll put the date in later. But, so the first half of this trail is pretty clear and burned out. But there is definitely some growth. And as it's now September, as you can see a lot of the aspen are glowing nice and yellow. So with the leaf change, we've got a little bit of a climb ahead of us. And uh, we'll kind of duck into a ravine where the fire starts to abate and the trees start to come back in. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Are you excited, Mason? I'm a little nervous. Nervous? What are you nervous about? Uh, I don't know. New experience. Being able to keep up. Being stuck with Colin and I. <laughs> All right, we made up the first big climb, and we're now starting to do our turn into the side drainage, which will eventually lead us to Lake Gertrude and Timberline Lake. Doing pretty good. Having a pretty good time. Mason's killing it. And we found some snow off in the distance. Any words of wisdom, Colin? Any words of wisdom? Yeah. Uh, about life or hiking? <laughs> Whatever. Quirky comments? I don't care. Never that. drink yellow snow. Eat yellow snow. Or drink it. Good advice. <laughs> yeah. Hey Mason, looks like you're peeing. Huh? Looks like you're peeing. Oh. I can. I can. I can. <laughs> Please no. So you'll notice I have a little bit of an extra thing on my pack, that closed cell Z foam pad. Uh, it's supposed to get a little chilly tonight, and my pad doesn't have the greatest R value, so I'm going to double up pads tonight. These are the exciting things that backpackers do. Colin and Mason looking majestic as hell. It doesn't look like it at the moment. We're getting close to the Timberline, hence the name Timberline Lake. I also have a stream crossing coming up here. Last time I was up here, a couple years ago, it was early in the season, and this stream crossing was high enough that I actually thought, this is it. 
this is how I die. I didn't, but it was rushing and cold. My feet went numb. I probably cried a lot. Something I do. Colin is getting ready to go on Hulk beast mode by getting out his pellets of power. Eat the power. <laughs> Eat the power. Do you want any? I'm good. <laughs> Where you going, Mason? You going pee? You shouldn't do it by the lake. I'm not gonna stop why. Right? Can I pick him? Now turn around. Mason's victory! Yeah. It's not that bad a tent. I, mean, I wouldn't carry it up here, but... <laughs> it's, it's better than the first tent that I used backpacking. Which I'm pretty sure stopped being stopped made about eight years ago. <laughs> That's a tent that seriously, like... Pretty sure that it was, like, from Bible times. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this Moses guy with the name written on the inside? I was like, dude. Times I'm like, dude. When your patches have patches, it's probably in time to get a new tent. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, now I'm feeling the altitude. Bend over, get lightheaded. For those of you that are watching at home, don't judge poor Mason's tent. He's new. Oh, yeah, I'm super new. Don't please don't judge me. Uh, if you could only have heard the number of times I whined on my first ever backpacking trip, you would feel pretty good about yourself. My feet hurt. I'm hungry. Are we there yet? <laughs> Are we there yet? This pack's heavy. Yeah, sounds bad. Acid jazz is like everyone's trying to do a jazz solo at the same time. Oh, yeah, that's like most jazz stuff. No. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I I just thought that acid jazz was what happens when you drop acid and then listen to jazz. Oh, it's more like it's what it's more like dropping acid and trying to do jazz. That sounds like a terrible idea. It's the worst. All right, so as I mentioned before, my pads are a little different. I actually am using two pads. My AXL Air by Big Agnes is a great pad, but 
does struggle a little bit in the colder temperatures. It's only R value of three. So I brought one of the Thermo Z lights to put underneath it, which is an R value of two. So those two pads combined will be an R value of five. So hopefully with not a lot of weight issue or added on, I'll be able to stay up just a little bit warmer tonight because it could get pretty cold. How's it going, Mason? Good, I think. You think? I think. You think. I think. You think or I feel, you know? I feel. You should know. <laughs> what am I supposed to know? I don't know. <laughs> 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 I thought a shot was two ounces. Like our shot glasses at Mazeva are two ounces. That's the size of your normal shot, right? That's not the stock I have. <laughs> what? That's a cup? That's a cup. That's a lot. It's I convex. Get smaller at the bottom. Wow. So we had to move back because the wind kicked up a little bit. But uh, we found another place to eat. And for the first time in my entire career as a backpacker, I opened up a meal with no oxygen absorber in it. I was completely vexed by where it was at. Anyways, beef shepherd pie for dinner. Mason's eating some ramen noodles. Good backpacker staple. And, uh, Colin is rocking the pad tie. This is actually happening. We have <laughs> pine twig chopsticks and they're actually working. Way to improvise. And way to us suck for not telling him what stuff he needed to bring. <laughs> Necessity is the mother of invention. <laughs> All right, I just have to say that the backpacker pantry's beef shepherd's pie is darn good. Even better than like normal meal in the backcountry good. Like highly recommend. We should do a taste testing video sometime. And tending the fire is a sacred responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility. This is a bit of a rarity for me, but we decided it's a good night to have a fire. We're in an area where there isn't much vegetation around us, mostly rock. There's an already established ring. We're using small wood that was dead on the ground, so yeah, why not? Mason, how was your first backpacking trip, man? Uh, it was the highlight of the trip was cresting that hill and overlooking the lake. Like it was hard, but all of it was worth it the moment you you crest the hill. Like I understand now what you mean, like. It's hard and it hurts and you're like, ah, when you're doing it. But once you're there, like if you were short of breath, it takes the rest of your breath away. It takes a little bit getting used to the altitude for sure. Yeah. But this was an extremely enjoyable experience. So thank you. Not over yet. Yeah. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll see some stars tonight. It's a little overcast at the moment and smoky. This is actually probably one of the calmest nights that I've <laughs> this had. This is pretty calm. That I've had up in the mountains in a long time. Yeah, this is a perfect night. Like I said, this is 
kind of a treat for me because I don't do it very often. I feel, I feel very, very privileged to be able to have my first night be go this well. There's plenty of time. Yeah, I was gonna say if you do it, if you do it long enough, you're gonna have the other experiences of backpacking. Well, I think we're just gonna enjoy the rest of this fire. I'll hit the hay. Have a good night. Well, good morning. Not a bad view to wake up to. Uh, slept kind of crazy last night. Uh, I was on a slant, so I couldn't get comfortable, which kind of sucked. But yeah, other than that, not too bad. Didn't get as cold as I was expecting last night, which is good. Uh, no bad weather. But uh, yeah, nice, fairly clear morning. Not too much smoke in the air. Just finished some breakfast, working on my second cup of coffee. And uh, we'll probably take it easy for a little bit longer and head down. It should be a pretty quick hike down, so I'll probably waste some time up here for a while because it's gorgeous and why not? Yeah, here's the day number two. I probably look like crap, but man, it's a backpacking trip and who cares? Ever notice how when you're packing up from a campsite, it always looks like a uh, gear store yard sale? All right, doing the old camp once over check. Make sure we didn't leave any gear. You guys ready to go? Yep. How are you feeling, Mason? I'm feeling pretty good. Good? Yeah, I'm actually. Show off that ready. freshly, nicely packed pack turnaround. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we we taught Mason how to pack his pack a little better. This so. Is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we probably could have done a better job of teaching him before we left, but I'm a firm believer that the best teacher is experience. And as long as he isn't in any danger, yeah, he can learn. <laughs> One last look of Timberline Lake before we head off. This place has been gorgeous and a great host. Really nice campsite. Campfire last night, even though I don't usually have them, was pretty awesome. So now, hiking down. Eagle Eye Colin here spotted a moose. We can't see her right now, but they're down there. And she wasn't super thrilled to see us. So got the bear spray out and made a pretty quick retreat. Not super eagle eye. She was like trying to reach from like 15 feet away. <laughs> okay, so he's not gonna take a compliment. I can see her moving around down there. Still. See, I blame them. All right, so we made it through unscathed. The reason that the moose kind of charged us a little bit was one, she had a young with her. And two, there was another group of people that were coming from the opposite direction that had pushed them back towards us. And unfortunately for her, when she thought she was retreating, she ran into more idiot humans in the back country. So tragedy averted, everyone's happy. I have to admit that moose freak me out way more than bear because they're really unpredictable and they're so big they can hurt you with just a quick bunt. So yeah, a little bit of excitement, especially on Mason's first ever trip. These pants are not brown yet. <laughs>